This week on Fishing with Zach, rainbow trout fishing in a backcountry lake in Apsley, Ontario. Hey guys, what's up? We're here on a backcountry lake, back of the woods, near Apsley. Not going to tell you the name of the lake yet. We're going to see if we can catch some fish first. We're after rainbow trout today. I got my girlfriend's brother Sean with me over here. How's it going guys? He's the trout expert, so ho hopefully he can put us on some fish today. Uh, I found this uh, lake online, just randomly. No one really has any information about it, so someone was already here. There's some holes drilled out and stuff like that. So hopefully, the next time you see me, I'll be pulling up a nice rainbow trout. So, uh, we didn't bring a bait bucket. It was just a bag of minnows. But we found a natural little live well here that we can put on the ice. Let's hope it works today. Check it out, guys. When in doubt, nature provides it all. <laughs> it's just an old hole that's frozen. It's our live well for the day. We'll see if that works. We have to throw a rainbow in there next. There we go, Sean could have a fish. His tape's gone. Is there any weight there? Took her for a good run, eh? I don't see the tape at all yet. Grabbed the minnow and ran. Buggered off. Yeah. It, it did run a while. It did. So no fish, Sean. Nothing yet. But there we go. We set up a fire. Got Sean out there checking lines. He just had a nibble. Rainbow are very, very timid, very sensitive fish. So we set up our lines on the ice, live minnows, and then we come back on shore, have a fire, cook on the shore, there's no noise on the ice. And then when you hear your bells going or you see your, your, tip, of your tip of your rod going, you book it out there and you try and hook that fish. So now it's just a waiting game. We sit and wait and enjoy the fire. It's a beauty day. It's getting too warm. I can't even wear my toque anymore. So, gotta love this weather. Well, I just caught the first fish. Oh, not our target fish at all. We're using baby chubs to get rainbows. And on the wax worm, we're catching big giant chubs. So hopefully we can find some rainbows in here. Other words, it's just a minnow lake. We'll find out. So we haven't had any luck in shallow yet. I only caught that one chub on the wax worms. He's a big chub. But now I'm out in the middle, middle of this little lake. See if the trout are a little deeper maybe. We have no fish finder, no flashers today. Just doing it old school. Hey guys, just a little tip. When we got these bar lines, like we're set up way over there. And this line's way out in the deep, deep here. We have these bells. Hook them up to the end of your rod. And then when a the fish hits it, hopefully we can hear that noise from back there. Well guys, no fish yet. We're having a midday snack. We're gonna move spots here soon. Figure we'll cook up while we got a fire going over here. We're gonna venture over to the other side of the lake. Hopefully that'll help produce some rainbows and not chubs. Fucking eyes are burning. 
-hmm. So we moved locations. Over there wasn't producing anything. Just got a little perch and uh, a small little chub. So we're over here. in unfortunately it's not the fish we're looking for it's a little mini mini perch look at him so he's going back down the hole he could be bait for somebody else but he's gonna live another day so we might go try a lake trout lake after this lake on the way home if we don't catch anything yet I might not be able to record any of that because my battery's dying, so we'll see. But uh, fingers crossed we can still catch something out here. I want to catch a remote trout. I've never caught one through the ice, so it'd be nice. A little discouraging today though. So, so far, no luck. We're on a new lake. We're going for splake now. Someone was on the lake before us. Their holes are still punched over there, not frozen over yet. Didn't see any signs of any fish. We took a little walk around, and when we came back, I had a minnow stripped. So something took it. I'd like to know what it was. I'd like to be able to catch it. 